Hi, welcome back to Handmade. My name is Lauren. I don't know if you've noticed, but Halloween is almost here. And Halloween is the season of candy, and no candy is more polarizing than candy corn. You may love it, or you may hate it. Throw in the trash! But here are five fun ways to use candy corn in your crafts without throwing them in the trash. To make candy corn hot chocolate, you will need two bags of white chocolate chips, two cups of candy corn, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, eight cups of whole milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla. Give it a stir and turn it on low setting for two hours. And now we're gonna make some monster munchies. Six cups of salted pretzels, 16 ounces of dry roasted peanuts. Top it all off with some Halloween sprinkles. Two bags of melted white chocolate chips. Mix it all together. Then spread the mixture on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. To make it more colorful, I added orange food coloring to melted white chocolate chips. I melted some bittersweet chocolate chips to drizzle on top as well. Finally, before the chocolate hardens, top it all off with some candy corn. Let cool and then break into pieces. Now let's make some candy corn dough. First, we have two cups of candy corn. Add three tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. Microwave in 30 second intervals until melted. Once the candy corn is melted, pour some powdered sugar onto a cutting board. Add the first half of your candy corn mixture and mix together with a spatula because it will be hot. Once it starts to thicken, add the rest of your candy corn and more powdered sugar. Once it cools, you can then knead with your hands. Store in a sealed container. Candy corn makes a really cute vase filler. Add a layer of candy corn to the bottom of the vase. Put a smaller container into the center of the vase. Then fill in the space between the containers. Start with a tall vase. Spray paint a few sticks black and then add them to the vase. Cut floral foam into pieces and wedge around the sticks to keep them in place. Then cover the floral foam with candy corn. Attach individual candy corn pieces with hot glue to the branches. Then finish off with some sealer spray. Okay, candy corn haters, I hope that we've proven to you today that you don't have to eat it to love it. Let's take a poll. Do you love it or do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.